thanks for tuning in to a brand new episode of Breeze Speaks, where we talk about this, that, and everything in between. I can't wait for y'all to hear today's episode. Good morning. It is Wednesday. We have made it midway through the week, you all. And you are tuned in to Bree Speaks with me, your host, Bree. Like I start off every episode, and that will never change. I want to thank each and every last one of you for tuning in for today's episode. I know that we all live heavy, heavy, crazy lives, and it can be hectic. It can be time consuming. And the fact that you chose to take time of your day to listen to my podcast episode today means a lot to me. So from the bottom of my absolute big heart, I want to thank you um, just for listening. Hopefully today's episode um, carries with you throughout your day and holds some type of weight that you reflect on it and it helps you throughout the rest of the week. So today's episode was not technically planned. (laughs) It's just I have moments where I have things that are weighing heavy on me and to get it out, I make an episode. I actually feel like I should do that more because I have a lot of stuff that weighs on me a lot of times, but I feel like it could be a message for someone else to help them through. So just an update, what's going on with me currently? I started school <laughs> so excited I started last week um for those that do not know I am going for my bachelor's in digital media and uh, digital media and storytelling I am extremely excited because it's like it's on the path on the road of what I wanted to do what I want to accomplish in my life and you know you all have been through the 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 whole journey so like I'm a podcaster of course I'm a gamer I have a blog I started um I started blogging I want to say maybe a year ago my podcast is two three years old I have been on almost every platform just trying to see which platform works best for me I'm back where I started Okay, Anchor, well, now it's called um, Spotify for Podcasters. Shout out to you all for the best platform ever. I'm back home where I belong. And (laughs) just now is just the point of being consistent, finding my consistency, and actually finding time within my hectic schedule. And I feel like so many of us have hectic schedules. So for me, I have two jobs. I'm a full-time student. I'm a mom, I'm a gamer, I'm a podcaster, and of course, try to find time for my own self. You know, I'm really big on self-care, self-love, self-healing, all that thing. And I have to admit, this past week has been stressful. You ever went back to school and was like, why did I make that decision? Like, I'm slow. I'm dumb. Like, there's no way I can do this. Like, This was the biggest mistake ever. That was me. (laughs) That was me last week. And I'm like, I had to stop. Like, we, we are really, we are our worst critics. We talk so bad and so negative about ourselves that we, we literally, a lot of us beat others to the punch. Stop doing it. Please stop doing it. Please, please, please. This is something that I had to tell myself. We have power in our tongue. What we speak out is very powerful because we're putting it out there in the atmosphere to happen. You're not dumb. You're overwhelmed. You are stressed, but you're not dumb. You can do it because it's on you to do it. It's in you to do it. And if it wasn't, it w- this wouldn't even be a topic of conversation. Stop speaking ill will and negative about yourself. Solely because the universe hear it, your kids hear it, and ultimately, why would you want to talk down about yourself? I am so guilty of doing that, and it really has to stop. Like, I made myself cry. (laughs) I made myself cry because I'm sitting here, and I'm reading, and I'm, I'm I'm like, I'm not fully 
understanding what the assignment was. Even though after talking, you know, be saying it out loud or whatever a few times, like I got it, but it was like how many times did I have to say it out loud for me to grasp it? And when I say, I was like, oh my gosh, this was a mistake. I shouldn't have done it. Um, I I should just drop out of school right now. Maybe this is not what I really want to do with myself. This was stupid. No, 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 no. No, stop it. Stop talking bad about yourself. I got so mad at myself. Like, you know better. How can you tell others to not do it and you do it yourself? So I literally had to hold myself accountable. And I feel like a lot of us need to do that too. Hold yourself accountable. Stop talking negative about yourself. Make Time management is really one of the biggest things on how to juggle absolutely everything. And I suck at it. I honestly suck at it. I will literally sit and I could be just chilling at home and out of nowhere, like I have like a whole list of things that I need to do, need to get done. And it's like, (gasps) all of it needs to get done at once. And it's like, no, 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 it does not prioritize your time. (laughs) Prioritize everything. Make a list. Does it have to get done within the next, I want to say 24 hours. If it does, okay, list it in priority. Like, what needs to happen? Like, it is no question about, like, it needs to happen, like, within the next two, three hours, I would say. And then everything else, just plan out your week. Because I'm pretty sure there are times throughout the week where, like, man, I'm bored. Like, what can I be doing? And then as soon as you just say, okay, well, forget it. I'm just going to send the house on my back. Then it's like, oh, crap I should have got up and did this oh my gosh I could have got up and did this oh I need to do this oh my gosh and now it's 10 o'clock at night and it's like where did the day go well (laughs) one thing first one thing that um actually does help me is I have a friend I talk about him all the time his name is Diesel he says write down everything write down everything for the week for the week not for the month for the week What do you need to get done this week between Sunday and Saturday that is important? Do that and then list it by priority. Um, It's sometimes it's easier said than done because we do tend to like, well, oh, well, okay, okay, so I know I need to go to the store and I need to get this, 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 this. Oh, but doggone it, I really need to go and get this. And then don't be at the store and say, ooh, I need that. No, no, no. Is it a need or a want? That's another thing that I fall guilty of. (laughs) Is it a need or a want? We got to get better people. (laughs) And I know I can't be by myself because a lot of females and males, because I can't just put it on us women, we do need to decipher the difference between, is that really a need or do we just want it? Honestly, like for me, for example, I don't know how many gamers I have that listen to my podcast, but <laughs> I have a, I'm a I'm a PlayStation woman. I love me. I love me a good PlayStation. That's my baby. My PS5, that's my baby. And both of my controllers are acting stupid. <laughs> both of them have stick drift. Like, no, one has stick drift. It, it goes to the left on its own. Like, why? And then that's my white controller. My purple controller, the R2, the trigger for playing Call of Duty is R2, the trigger. It shoots on its own. So, and it's like, I've been looking up ways to, like, how to fix it. And then it's like, I'm I'm handy when I want to be sometimes. And I'm scared I'm going to mess it up. So then I'm like, okay, well, I'll just buy another controller. That's between 60 to 70, 80 bucks. I don't really get it. And then <laughs> um, I had another fellow gamer say, oh, well, just go buy the Edge. Just go buy the PlayStation 5 Control Edge. Oh, okay, cool. That thing, $200. If I ain't get the 80 <laughs> what makes you think I got 200 But I love my people, though. <laughs> I love my people, though. So 
let's stop talking down and bad about ourselves. We are definitely our own. We are our biggest critics more than anything and anybody. And I feel like finishing out this week, give yourself some grace. You're doing the absolute best that you can. And I'm talking to whether you're a mother, whether you're a father, um, aunt, uncle, anybody, student, you work in two, three jobs in school, give yourself absolute grace. It's okay to take a step back and just think about what's going on and what you have going on. Like, like I said, for me, I work at, I work in radio and I work radio. I work at my radio job two nights that are overnight and sometimes on the weekend, which is like midday. And then I have another job that requires me to drive around a lot and um, it's merchandising. So I go to different stores and do the merchandising for my area on top of being a full-time student being a mom to two my two boys uh I had to cry I cried earlier sidebar I cried earlier because my youngest is 16 and he's a junior so huh, it's hard to think of we're gonna leave that for another episode but with all of that going on and then still trying to find time for myself it can be overwhelming and I will say to schedule time to yourself, even even if it's like 30 minutes to an hour out of your whole week. Or if you could do if you could do it like once a day or once every other day, bravo. Like I applaud you. But if you can't, at least one hour out the week, one or two hours out the week, where you only focus on yourself. You're not uh, an employee, you're not a student, you're not a mother, you're not a father, you're not a daughter, you're not even a friend. You are simply you. And the only person who matters in that moment is you. That is it. Nothing and no one else. Get back in tune with yourself. Go pamper yourself. Listen, when I say I'm, I, I can't wait until Friday... I can't wait till Friday. I might boost it back and, and make it tomorrow. But when I say I'm going to the shop, I'm going to this nail shop, baby. And you know what? These nails and these toes is getting done. By all means. I don't know. I don't remember the last time I went and got a pedicure. Now I ain't trying to put myself out there, but you know what it is. Sometimes it be hard. It be hard. And for a lot of us big, big girls, we can't reach our toes. So guess what? We're going to the nail shop. That's period. I'm not going to hold y'all. I said this episode wasn't going to be that long. <laughs> I try not to keep them that long. But I did want to say I missed y'all so much. I miss making content. I miss making podcast episodes. And this is something that I have to prioritize. And I'm aiming for it to be every Wednesday. That is my goal. To put out as much as I need to. Because I want to. And it makes me happy. This is the happiest I've been in like two weeks. <laughs> making, con making content for you all. And you all listening. And giving me feedback and commenting. Let me tell you something. It makes a girl happy. It makes me really happy. It makes me blush a little bit. <laughs> but with that being said. Go throughout your day. Give yourself some grace prioritize your time and make you a top priority why because you need it you deserve it and i said so again thank you all for listening to this episode i appreciate y'all so much i love each and every last one of you so much go and finish out y'all week strong now i don't want to i don't want i don't want to see no negativity i don't want to hear no negativity because you got this. Until next week. I'm speaking it into existence. Existence. Until next week. Until again. I love y'all.